morning. Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through this 2021 Newmar Essex. This is the 4543 floor plan. It's been a little while since I've done a big coach for you guys and I had a couple folks ask me to, to do an Essex. We finally got one on the lot so uh, let's get started. We're going to start up here on the front. This is stock number 5N201399. I've got the generator running. I'm going to start with it just because I'm right here. Make it easy. Open your generator up. There's a push button in here. You just have to have the accessories on, on the ignition. Really simple to get to that 12.5 kilowatt generator. It's an Onan diesel gen. In here, as usual with Numar, we're going to have some spare fuses. And then all, all the brain of the operation here. Lots of wires, nothing to worry about. Again, you got spare fuses and your main control right there for your uh, slide out for your generator. You drive like I do, you might hit some bugs. Uh, this comes in real handy. All right, as you can see right here, we've got a 12.5 Onan diesel gen, like I said. We've got your wake up the neighbor horns on this side. And then your city horns right here. As you can tell there's a difference. Those aren't gonna wake up the neighbors. We've got a, a hot water outlet right there so you can plug in your hose, hook up a hose and get all those bugs off. Comes in real handy. There's also a quick connect right here. So you can hook up an air hose, air up your uh, inner tubes, put air in the tire, whatever you need to do. You've got your windshield wiper fluid there. Again, everything's really easy to get to. It's nice when you have to get to your generator if you like to service it yourself. It's got smooth operation, slides in and out without a problem. And then we'll just keep going around the front here. You, got, you see we got our chrome mirrors. They've got side cameras on them, turn signal cameras. The mirrors are also heated. This is the Winchester exterior. Beautiful color. You can see up top, we have our front camera there that you can access on the display. Also part of our 360 camera view. This has your safety features on it. So it's got adaptive cruise. So it uses uh, your mobile eye there. You can set the settings for long, medium, or short distances. So it'll slow you down. Nice feature about the new Essex here and the high-end Newmar is they hide everything behind this front cap. So your windshield wipers are down here. They're not up here flopping around getting in the way of your view. You can see up there on the top of the windshield towards the top, this does have comfort drive and passive steer, which means the tag axle is gonna actually turn. Nothing you need to do, it does it automatically. Uh, the degree of cut varies by floor plan and model. Makes turning a breeze. That and Comfort Drive make, make it for a, an awesome driving experience. If you've never driven a coach with Comfort Drive, you should come out and test drive one. You can schedule an appointment if you'd like to. All right. So on the Essex, you get hydraulic steps. Makes it really easy to get in and out of the coach. If I happen to be standing too close, it's got a sensor so it'll stop and not take my leg out from under me. If I park too close to a curb, you're not gonna be hitting your steps on the curbs. Once you open, it'll reset. There is an on and off button for your steps inside. I'll show you when we go inside. You can turn off the steps so they can stay out. When you're parked, they're not gonna be moving. That way they're not going in and out all the time. All right, as we move around here, you can see we've got a door awning with LED lights. Comes in really handy if it's raining. You're taking groceries inside, you've got some cover there. We also have the two huge Nova Girard awnings with LED lights as well. Today's a very sunny morning here in Frederick, Colorado. You can see with the Nova Girard awning, 
you get a lot of coverage, plenty of coverage for your TV. You can be sitting out here watching TV. This TV has a Bose sound bar. I get a lot of folks that ask me, you know, what's better, the TV in the sidewall like this, or is it better in the bottom compartment? Honestly, they both have their pros and cons. Uh, the one that's in the compartment's nice because when you're sitting in your lawn chair, it's right at eye level. It's perfect. You don't have to be looking up. If you're like me, if you see my videos, I don't sit still very long. I like it up a little higher so when I'm talking, I'm hanging out with buddies, uh, we're out here, out here watching the game, I can keep moving around and always watch it. I don't have to sit down to, to do that. So again, it's personal preference. You can see we have our window awnings on this one. These are all push button as well. You don't have to pull anything down manually. We've got awning on this window and then on the other side, you'll be able to see those as well. Of course, with the Essex, we're gonna have the Dometic Outdoor Refrigerator Freezer. We've got two separate compartments. You can set this up both sides as freezer or refrigerator or one in one. Obviously, if we're outside tailgating, we might have a lot of drinks in here. Really nice feature to have. We've got our power storage tray here. It's got 1,000 pound uh, weight capacity on this. Makes it really easy. It's a pass through, so you can. You can take it out on either side, so if you got stuff on one side, you don't have to climb in there to get it. These, these come in really handy. We also have the additional storage shelf up here. You're going to have about one foot of clearance here and about 18 inches from, from the bottom of the tray to that. Here's our, our second of our two storage trays, our power trays. This one's a lot bigger. Still has a thousand pounds of carrying capacity on there. Same height between the shelf here and down here. I joke around, this could be your doghouse. If you get in trouble, you can put a sleeping bag and sleep down here. It's a joke, but you might actually have to use it. The last storage tray here is going to be manual. It's not a pass-through. Still lots of room in here to store all your stuff that, that's heavy. This is a good one because then you just pull it out. It's, it's not super deep. You can access everything here. We've got our central vac system here. All of our attachments. You got 110 outlets throughout. If you want to plug in something outside. You should have plenty with your TV, your Bose soundbar. You should need to plug anything, but if you do, you got, you got the spots to do that. All right, here's a nice little storage area. I had a guy uh, that saw some of my videos popped in. He said you can put a lot of wind or blinker fluid on, on these shelves here. It'll store a ton of it for you. We got our LED strip back here in all of our compartments now. That was new for 2021. Here's one of our docking lights. I don't have them turned on right now, but these docking lights are really nice to have. Uh, you're backing into a, a campground at night. If you're messing around outside, you need additional lighting. You got a docking light in the back and one in the front. You can see we have the Alcoa aluminum wheels. These are polished, beautiful wheels. We got Michelin tires on these. These are gonna be 315s in the rear. Uh, they're 315, 80, 22 and a half inch wheels. Here we have our depth tank. And we're going to have our emergency suspension set up right here. This is just in case you have issues doing it. Uh, something happens and it's not working right. You can actually add air to your bags right through this spot here. Right here, if you can zoom in. You can't, I don't know if you can hear it because there's a generator running in the coach, but that's where you would bleed your air tank. You want to do that periodically to make sure there's no moisture in the tank. All right, 
it back here. We've got our two, our two chassis batteries with the disconnects. If you're going to be parked for long periods of time, you can turn that off so there's no uh, draws, nothing killing your battery. We have our air dryer and our fuel filter. One thing you don't see, let me open this back up, and I mentioned this before, but on the high-end coach like this, you don't see that uh, particulate filter. They do a really good job of hiding it. All right. Oh, that could have been really funny. <laughs> so here's our Cummins engine. I'm going to go shut off the engine. So now you can see Big Red back here. Got a 605 horsepower engine, 1950 foot pounds of torque. This is on the Spartan K3 chassis. We've got everything readily accessible. Check all your fluids. Here's another quick connect for your air hose. Your transmission fluid. I know what you're wondering, where is the flux capacitor on this? This engine is it's big enough and awesome enough, we don't have to have a flux capacitor on this one. Here's your block heater. Again, everything's super simple, super easy to get to. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, if you purchase from us here at TransWest, you will get a walkthrough. I'll show you how to open this without hitting yourself. Comes in really handy. We've got a 20,000 pound tow hitch back here. Got the big receiver hitch. You've got a seven pin connector. You've got an airline set up for your tow vehicle. And then we've also set this one up with the Voyager camera setup for your stacker trailer. If you have cameras in your trailer you're towing, you can access the cameras through there. You can see our backup camera. Also another camera that goes with that 360 camera view. Okay, right here you're going to have your side radiator. Nice benefit to the side radiator. As you just saw when I opened the, the hood there, uh, you can access the engine really easy. When the radiator is actually in the back, it covers it up. It, it's, a, it's a hassle to get to your engine. We've got our escape door back here, which I'll show you from the inside when we're in that rear bathroom. Our dev fluid on this coach is dual fuel, so we can fuel from either side. Makes it really nice. Here's a nice storage compartment for your sewer hose. As you can see right here, our window awnings again. I didn't pull those out, but you can see the two window awnings. We also have the security lights. We have one on this side, one on the other side. And our other camera for the 360 camera view. All right, now when we get to the wet bay, I love what they've done here. You got the stainless steel backing here. It makes it easy to read all of the, the writing on here. Everything's labeled. You can see we have the SantaCon system for this, the macerator. Uh, you got a full house water filter system. Your refrigerator is also filtered. Uh, fresh water, 80 gray and 60 black. Again, everything is super simple. This is your gray tank rinse, your black tank rinse, your point drain, two other low point drains here, hot and cold. Again, when you buy from uh, TransWest, we will do a walkthrough with you, show you how to use all the systems, uh, answer any questions you have as you're going along and even after the sale. Uh, the manning block system here is really cool. If you have a leak, say in the kitchen, you can shut the water off to just that section of the coach and keep using water in the rest of the coach. It makes it really nice to have. So you can see here we have our water hose here on a powered reel. Your valves, you can, you can run it manually. If you want to do a, just do a gravity drain sewer hose, you can use that there and drain it manually. You've got your outdoor shower up top there. 
hot and cold water, and then you have your paper towel dispenser. Again, everything's really, really handy. And you know what, I'm not gonna, we'll leave that open so you can keep, we'll make another walk around here at the end of the video. We've got our 50 amp shore cord, also on a power reel, and the LED lights there as well. As you can see right there next to the lights, there's another generator on off switch. So if you're out here, you don't have to go into the coach to start it. Then we have our Oasis hydronic heating. If you like to take long, hot showers, that's definitely the way to go. You don't have to worry about running out of water, as long as you have uh, plenty of water in your fresh water tank. Again, here's the backside of the storage trays that I showed you earlier. Thousand pounds of capacity on those. Here's the smaller one. Now you get to your house batteries. We're gonna have eight house batteries on a slide tray. Makes it really easy to service your batteries, to change them out. Again, just one thing to remember is if you change one battery, please go ahead and change all of them. It makes a, a world of difference and it'll save you some headaches. And now we're back to where we started, so we can go inside the coach. All right, as you're walking in, a couple of things to point out. You got the heavy duty grab bar here as you're getting in and out of the coach. There's also another one here to help you all the way into the coach. And there's one right behind me here. Nice safety feature there. You have keyless entry. You can lock your baggage doors here and you have a doorbell. As we start coming into the coach here, first thing you're gonna notice right here on the side of the passenger seat, because you're gonna have your door locks for your cargo lights or cargo doors, your battery disconnect and your step well lighting. And then we just continue to go off of this, uh, the, the passenger seat. Actually, we'll start here. You've got your cup holder. You've got your wireless phone charging there. So you just set your, your phone down and charge it. You're gonna have your patio light switch there, your visor, your step cover. So you can cover the steps while you're driving so your feet aren't dangling. Or if you have a pet, they're not down by the steps. They can be right there next to you. And then you got your, your ceiling lights and your map lights. You also have control for your uh, air conditioning on your side. So if your husband's freezing you out or vice versa, you can uh, turn it down a little bit on this side. You also have your backseat driver panel right here. You can access the cameras, the maps, everything that is available on the main panel there, you can access on, on this side here, your navigation and all your cameras. That comes in really handy. It sounds funny calling it the backseat driver, but when you're in a 45 foot coach and you're backing it up, it's really nice to have somebody helping you out. Uh, you're also going to get the table here. I'll swing around. Nice little work area. So while you're going down the road, you can be have a laptop there. You've got some USB ports down here. It's a really nice feature to have. As you can see, these seats are super wide. The passenger seat in these high-end luxury coaches and most coaches are they're always wider than the driver's seat. Uh, this one's got the massage feature. So while they're driving, you can be getting a massage and taking a nap. You will accidentally push the buttons on these while you're walking through there, and then they'll turn on. So you wanna be careful with that as you're walking in and out of the coach. Uh, driver's seat, same thing, same feature. Both of, both of these seats will swivel around and they do recline, so you have a nice living area uh, when it's time to hang out with friends and family. As we go through the front here, I'm gonna point out a couple of features. As 
So this is a digital dash. Um, and there's only, I can spend hours going through every single section. I'm gonna point out just a couple. Again, these videos, uh, especially when I do these videos, I just kinda wanna give you a brief overview, uh, give you my contact info. You can always call me and I can uh, FaceTime with you or answer any questions individually. Uh, this has the 360 camera view. And we can look at, so if we wanna look at just the two sides, you can look on both sides if you hear a noise outside. You know, you have your security lights you can turn on, but this makes it really nice to have out there. On the dash here, I wanna just kinda of go through a couple of things. We'll start at the top here uh, with air leveling. So you can auto level using the airbags. You can do a high ride or a low ride um, while you, you know, if, if you need a little extra clearance when you're going into your, your garage, uh, your storage unit, you're gonna, you can go to low ride, it'll drop it down and then you can move it in. Uh, if you want a higher ride to get more clearance, if you're going over a little rockier terrain, you can do that as well. Next section down is just the brightness of the screen. There's no messages, it'll give you messages if there's any errors. In your settings, that's where your comfort drive is. So that is where you're going to adjust your settings from one to five. And comfort drive I can't talk about it enough it's awesome if you've never driven one uh, I would suggest scheduling an appointment uh, you can see right here I'm gonna turn the steering wheel while it's idling all the way to the right uh, no other coach is gonna bring you back to center when you let go and you're at a and you're parked you're not moving super cool feature all right next on our dash there we got trip as you can see, I've been driving 33 miles an hour. <laughs> I've got, that's the average speed. Really, that's just test drives around the lot. Um, right now, average economy is 6.5. And that pretty much covers your, your trip odometer there. Uh, here's your info. You can change a couple of things on there. Nothing major. That's your engine percentage load, what you're using. Your TPMS is going to tell you tire pressures on all the tires you have here. And then the last section is your adaptive cruise control. And again, right now I have it set for, for distance long, so it, it'll let me, um, when I get close to somebody, or too close, and it passes that distance, it will slow me down. Nice safety feature to have. All right, and that's pretty much it on this. I don't really want to go through a whole lot. Again, um, I don't want to make this a two, three hour long video. Just want to give you a quick overview. I'm going to shut that off. Up here on the dash, you're going to have just your basic controls. Uh, they're pretty standard for most, most coaches. If you've never been in one, again, um, I'll just give you a quick overview and you can call me if you need any more specific info. You've got your front fans, uh, your overhead fan, high, medium, and low, your docking lights, those are the ones I didn't have on. We got two on the front, two on the, on the rear. You got your courtesy lights. So I'm driving down the road, a semi lets me, um, gets over so I can pass. This is the light, I've, I push this button to tell them thank you, just flashes the lights. Here's your generator on and off button, and your entry lock, and then this is gonna be your visors and your shades for all your windows here that you can adjust. On the left hand side here, we've got hydraulic leveling. So we do have auto leveling using the jacks. We also have air ride leveling, which is a really nice feature to have if you're on um, muddy terrain. Uh, it's not solid underneath you. The air, airbags work wonders. This is our, our basic uh, Allison six-speed automatic transmission controls right here. You have your tag dump, your engine brake uh, on and off. And it's a three stage, so you have a low, medium, and high engine brake here. You're gonna have your lights. You're going to have your, your dash dim, dim and bright. Uh, again, you're going to have, these are going to be your, your courtesy lights. And then your dome lights. You've got your heated mirror here and your mirror controls here. It's got an integrated trailer brake controller. Down here, you're going to have your house battery merge button, your air horn. Turn that on when you want to wake everybody up. Your window control here and then your traction control override down here you can see we've got three memory settings for the driver's seat 
I like setting one of the settings so when it's time to uh, rotate the seat around, I want to, it's time for, you know, hanging out with the friends, you push it, it slides it forward, moves your backrest up, it makes it really easy, you don't have to do it all every time. Uh, and then your basic controls here for your air conditioning. All right, as we get up here, you're gonna have your silver leaf control here. Uh, again, you're gonna have a, a, we can spend hours on this. We will give you a walkthrough if you purchase from us. If you have any questions, you can call me directly. Um, I'm gonna hit a couple of the basic ones. You're gonna have your generator. Right now it's running. It does have auto gen start, um, which is awesome. If you're gonna be leaving the coach, you can set it so when the voltage gets down too low on your batteries, it'll automatically start, charge your batteries. You can do that for the climate control as well. If you're gone and you want your temperature to stay 69 degrees and it drops below, it'll turn on, fire up the air conditioners. Um, you got your climate, well, we'll go back to water here. It's gonna tell you the levels on all your tanks. Your climate, it's gonna, you have four different zones in this coach, cool, heat, and auto. You can do all the zones the same temperature or you can do individual kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, and living room. I like keeping them all the same. You can access your cameras on here as well. Your floor heat. Again, tons of stuff on there we can talk about for hours. I won't do that and bore you in the video, but give me a call. Here's all your slide controls. You got your passenger, your driver's side and passenger. These are the exterior lights, your LED strips. And then you have your exterior step, so you can shut the step off so it doesn't open and close every time. And then your Wi-Fi router, turn that on here. You've got your in-motion satellite here, your traveler uh, satellite up top. So this comes with both. Your security sensors. This does have the security system. Um, we ordered it with it. You have your, your awnings, your privacy drapes, and security lights here on both sides. Pretty simple. This, in case you're wondering what this is for, this is so the techs can, pl can plug into the silver leaf and get diagnostics. Got some storage up here. Not a ton, but again, in a motorhome, every little bit counts, especially if you're living in it full time, which a lot of folks are doing these days. Okay. You got your Wi Fi router up here. That basically works. You get a card from your cell provider, and it turns the coach into a mobile hotspot. All right, now we can move. Starting in the living room, we got our sound bar up top. We've got our JBL audio speaker system as well. We got one there, one on the opposite side. This is the first main control you see, panel control uh, as you walk into the coach. You can turn all the lights on and off right here. You can do individual sections. You can work your shades, your TV. This does have the televator. Uh, I'm going to do the televator here after a little bit. I got one feature I love on this coach. Uh, you can work all your shades from here as well. And you can check out your panel, your, uh, check out your voltage on your batteries. Right now we're, we're running the generator and it'll tell you the tank levels as well. Now you'll see these panels throughout the coach. It, this one will access all the lights on this wall basically in this section of the coach. It'll also access the televator and the blinds. Uh, we've got, as far as sitting here, we're going to have your, your little jackknife sofa. It's got two foot, foot uh, pedals here, pedestals. Now, one thing I want to point out in this, when you go to close it, you don't push down, you actually push up, and then it locks it in. Beautiful furniture again, it's the Winchester interior and decor. On this side, we've got the pull-out sofa bed. I'm not gonna pull it out for you guys. Uh, it is a full-size bed, comes out. It's got the air mattress on top. You plug it in and it inflates, and then you can also deflate it. Simple to put up if you've got, uh, if you've got guests with you, if you've got kids, grandkids. It's really a nice spot. These ottomans have storage under there. They also work as a table, so you can use them for storage. You can also flip the cushion over. Now you got a nice little 
uh, end table, coffee table. You can set your drinks on there, your food, depending on where you like to eat. So we move through. Now we've got our booth dinette. This does have storage underneath on both sides. Nice spot to put puzzles, miscellaneous things. Super comfortable. I got to tell you, all the furniture, the villa furniture is super comfortable. This does have an extra leaf and two folding chairs under the table. Okay, in the kitchen area. I do want to point out some. Uh, we've got new more duds on the high end stuff. It's all soft closing cabinets and drawers. Dovetail construction on the, on the drawers as well. A lot of storage space. This shelf is adjustable, so if you need more room. And again, soft closing. Forgot to point out here, right above the, uh, the jackknife and the televator. Now here's your Blu-ray player. And it's basically your AV co compartment here. This is where you would plug in your receivers and, and all the fun stuff, so you can watch your TV takes a little getting used to if you've never had soft closing stuff. You don't have to slam it. You just let it do it itself. All right. Now, kitchen. One of, one of my favorite things here that they've changed is you get the counter extension, but you can't really tell that it's there until you push the button and it comes out. This is really nice if you're, if you're the chef of the family, if you're the cook, if you're getting up early to make breakfast, this comes in really handy. You just push the button, push it back in, locks in place, and now you got three drawers. Again, every little bit of storage helps in these coaches. Nice thing you get here is you got a trash can and you've got a spot to store your sink covers. In case you haven't noticed, this is actually in the shape of the Numar Wave logo. Pretty cool. Solid countertops and covers. down here you got another drawer I like how they're putting these sliding drawers so you can access everything slide it back in you don't have to be reaching to the back okay we've got our induction cooktop as usual it does come out uh, if you like to cook breakfast you might want to do the bacon outside if you're not a very good cook you might want to just do this outside anyway just <laughs> so you don't start any fires um, I do have some folks that actually carry a single induction cooktop that they use to go outside with. A little afraid that they might drop this one on the way out and then won't have a cooktop. That's not a bad idea. Again, fish, bacon. You do have the cutting board on this side. Comes in handy. And you got your convection microwave. And some more storage up here. And of course, you got your silverware drawer. It's kind of hard to eat with remotes, but you can swap these out. You got one or two remotes in here that you got to learn how to use. Again, we will teach you how to we'll answer your questions. You've got a sleep number mattress, so this is your remote for it. You've got your awnings, your blinds. Nice little spice rack here. And additional storage down there. Oh, dishwasher is broke. Just kidding. You got a knock on it to let you in. I like how they, you can't tell it's a dishwasher because they make everything look so nice. Uh, I love the color of this wood. Just goes really well with the decor. We've got your central vac right here. I was uh, showing this coach to a couple yesterday, and the wife told the husband, why didn't you give me one of those at home when we built the house? Comes in really handy. 
Our refrigerator here is a residential fridge. Again, they match the wood, make it look really nice, really elegant. This is a three drawer. Plenty of room for most. I like to eat. I might need two refrigerators, but I got the outdoor one. And I love the pantry. They give you a huge pantry in this. 21, they went to the locking mechanism where you push in to get these out so they're not opening while you're driving down the road. And these are adjustable, so if you need more height on one or, or two of those, you can adjust it. Again, soft close and everything. Now we're to the mid bath here. This is a bath and a half model. Got all the lights in there. They added the lights in the mirrors now for 21. Super cool. Well, I guess it depends. I don't know if I had too much light, I might scare myself in the morning when I look in there. But and I'm gonna pop in here and open this up. Okay, this is go-to number one if you have problems with your coach. Always check your breakers. Make sure that everything is on, nothing's been tripped. You got some outlets here. So you can see these are labeled heat floor one, floor heat two. If one of these gets tripped, your floor might not be working, so you have to reset it's GFI. And well, let's do this one first. I'll step out so you can show that. Medicine cabinet, plenty of room in the medicine cabinet in this one. And then you're gonna have another one in the other room. Okay, as far as storage, you're gonna have some additional storage in here. I gotta tell you, it's a small space, but they sure do put a lot in here. And here's your Dometic controls for your toilet. There's a fan in there. You've got a fan in the in both bathrooms, one in the kitchen. Yep. No. All right. So now going into the master bedroom. First thing here on the wall when you walk in, you're gonna have your slide out control. This will slide the bed out. Obviously, bring it back in. You're going to have all your light controls here. One of the things I like is you can, you can dim your lights on any of these. So as long as it's got the little slide bar there, you can actually dim it. So here's your dresser lights. You can turn them all the way on or dim them. Super cool. They'll stay, it'll stay in the setting that you leave it at. So if I leave it right there, I can get out of that screen, come back, it's still going to be in that section. So super cool. You got your TV here, your, another Bose sound bar. Here is your receiver slash Blu-ray compartment where you would hook up all your, your uh, receivers and everything for your television. We got another silver leaf panel right here in between. You can access your cameras on here, super cool. You can, your generator, everything that you can access on the front panel, you can access here. You have an emergency exit window here. And then on the side here, you've got one that actually will open up, circulate some fresh air. And then you got your six drawers that are pretty good size. Again, soft closing. One thing I, if you, if you haven't been around RVs, you may not know this, but 2016, Newmar went to the all tile floor on their slide. Uh, a lot of coaches will have carpet on the slide rooms. Newmar 16 forward on their diesel pushers do not. Just gives it a nice clean look. We've got a nice privacy door here. Separate the bedroom from the rest of the coach. If you have guests over, you can leave this door closed if you want. There's a bathroom here so they can use. Um, as we come around the side here, you have a nice little end table nightstand on both sides with wireless charging. So you can actually put your phone down, charge it up. 
you're gonna have little storage there and a 110 outlet on each side it also has USB ports on that same outlet under the bed we're gonna have the two folding chairs that go with the dinette and the extra leaf and there's also storage a lot of folks, if they don't have gas, if it's just two folks, they're not going to need the extra chairs. They'll leave those at home and just make more room for storage. Again, another charge, wireless charging, same as the other side. You got some nice storage up here above the bed. You've got your access panel there so you can run your cables through there if you need to, hoses, whatever you've got. 110 outlet up top and you've got another panel under here if you could kind of show this one where you're laying in bed you can access you can turn on the lights turn off the lights makes it really handy you don't have to get in and out of bed here you got two reading lights if you like to read like I do or actually just really look at magazines golf magazines look at pictures I'm not I don't like to read very much my attention span doesn't allow me to read more than a page or two all right, now in the, in the main bathroom here, so you can see we got the lighting in the mirror. We've got his and her sinks. We got plenty of outlets here. So you can plug in your razors, your blow dryers, curling irons, whatever you got. And then they also give you some nice storage here on both sides. Plenty of room for cleaning supplies, miscellaneous, and a nice size medicine cabinet, again with another outlet, that is super handy. You probably have seen these little contraptions throughout the coaches we've been walking around. Those are your laser beams for your security system. Somebody walks in here, shoots a laser beam at them, cuts them in half. Just kidding, these are your thermistors. <laughs> They tell the thermostat the temperature of each of the rooms so it keeps your, your temperature where you want it. Again, we've got um, another toilet here, another Dometic. One of the cool features a Newmar gives you. Nice little storage compartment there on the side. It's kind of a hidden little compartment. You've got toilet paper holder there. And then you have your escape door here. Again, this comes really handy. Uh, hopefully you don't ever have to use it for an emergency. You would just take this panel off here. It's just held on by magnets. You pull this strap. You flip the ladder over and it just telescopes all the way down. Again, hopefully you don't have to use it for emergencies. Uh, you might use it from time to time to get away from the rest of the folks in the coach. It's a good way to just say, hey, I got to go to the bathroom and sneak out the back. You've got your washer dryer. Soft closing again. I like how they put the LED lights in here. Really nice built-in uh, hamper there. not soft closing in case you're wondering okay shower huge shower you've got the nice little bench seat here your shampoo body wash and conditioner dispenser you've got your hose and then your rain shower super cool does have the aquamizer here aqua view that allows you to not waste hot water basically or fresh water uh, you push that It'll let you know when the water's hot so you're not wasting water. You got a, 105 gallons of fresh water, but you don't want to waste it while you're waiting for hot water. Okay, your closet here. You've got a nice cedar lined closet with a ton of storage. Plenty of room to hang stuff. A lot of room for, you know, dresses, slacks, that kind of stuff. And then on this side, you've got your safe and another little spot to hang your clothes.
right, and that's pretty much it. Again, I just wanted to give you an overview, uh, some basics. There's plenty of stuff out there if you really want to get into specifics. Um, I'm more than happy to uh, talk to you about anything that you want me to clarify. You can contact me via cell phone, text, or email. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Just want to tell you again, have fun. Life is short, uh, so enjoy it. If you, can, if you have the luxury of being able to have a coach like this, take it out, have a great time with your, your family, your kids, your grandkids, your friends, uh, and enjoy it. Uh, send me pictures if you're out there having fun so I can uh, post on my wall uh, and pretend I'm there with you because I don't get out very often. So thank you guys and we'll see you next week.